shit now. Okay. We're live inside the GIE Expo right now, the 2015 in Louisville, Kentucky. We're live on Periscope right now. We're going to be doing Meerkat. So all you peeps that aren't here or weren't here can see it. And step one, we got to find the LCM. For those of you who don't know what the LCM is, ask around. Keith, do I have to keep this thing running all the time? Yeah, hold it like that. The whole time? Well, not the whole time. The whole time, I have to hold it. Flip it around. Like this? She doesn't want to be the camera, no. the cameraman. Because when I, okay, I didn't okay. sign up for this. She didn't sign up to be the cameraman. I understand thoroughly. So I'm gonna have to be the cameraman too. Yep. So I'm cameraman one, cameraman two. There you go. We gotta find the LCM for some. Why? What's to the tell LCM? Us. The LCM is the lawn care millionaire. Look at this shit. Oh, you're gone now. I was uh, I was telling telling these guys, I was telling Travis and Dylan, I said, so we got the stand genetic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the hottest chick at the GIE Expo, <laughs> and Keith will be following me. There you go. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, it's so funny. Did you have a good trip back? Yeah, it was good. So we got the LCM right here. That's what I mean by LCM. We're going to get him to tell us all of his secrets. What's up, man? Good to meet you. You're going to video me. Good to see you. Yeah. How you doing? Say hi to everybody. Hey, how are you guys doing? What's going on? A lot. We're at the, so we're at the trade show GIE. This is Surface Autopilot booth. Can you show them the booth? Yep. So if you're, if you're not using Surface Autopilot, you should be. And why? Because... Well, basically because we'll automate your business. So all the stuff that you're wasting clicks and you're manually generating invoices and you're trying to keep up with schedules and you don't remember to go do jobs because you stuck a note in your pocket, the software takes care of all that. You walk around with a mobile device and you tell the you basically tell the system what you need to do when Miss Smith asks you if you can take care of something for you and the system remembers when to do it, automatically tells your team, automatically invoices it, keeps up with all that stuff. So basically if you want to simplify everything and you want to automate everything, Everything you should take a look at Service Autopilot. <laughs> Complete automation. Yep. So it's an investment in your company. And your if business. and if we're not what we say we are, we'll give you back all your money. You have 30 days to figure it out. We give you back 100 percent of your money. You can just try it. Zero risk. There you go. Thank you. See? The man stands behind his business. Right. They don't make you sign a waiver. I don't know what they make you do. No, they don't make you sign away. I dug a hole. I, I hopped in the Kubota skid loader and I dug a hole. I dug it halfway, about halfway down. People. Yeah, I dug. I was like, the machine was halfway in the hole, and I was just gonna keep going until everybody sees it. Like, you know, and the, the they're letting people demo like, equipment. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'd seen them looking at me like, really, you can stop now. But when I did it, I had like this roll of people. Finally, nobody was stopping. Then everybody sees this machine halfway down in the hole. They're like, oh, what's this guy doing? Finally, yeah, yeah. something. You just got to dig in. Finally, something. Yeah, they, they, yeah, no, they, 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 they got everything, made everything else. They made stop. me stop. Yeah. Yeah. They got everything out there, though. They got tractors and everything. You can grade yeah. and dig yeah. yeah. and hey, do whatever you want to do. I'm running into some peeps. We have spoken with the Stan Genetic. He's a genius. We're going to do an interview tonight and we're going to pick this guy's brain. I'm ready. Right? Pick me, pick me. Dude, he's so, in, he's so intelligent. When, when he. <laughs> the clouds of wisdom just gather around his head. The what? Clouds of wisdom. You're like a, a, a wizard. All right, well, we're going to do an interview tonight. It'll be good. Anything you want on the table. If you haven't been on his YouTube channel, Stanley Genetic Landscape Construction Business Pro. And talk, talk about your, your podcast and Dirt Monkey. Okay. We have a podcast out there dedicated. Can this get any closer, Keith? Oh, it's so you can hear. If I was back here, then we'd be able to hear you clear. I just see, it seems like it's so much in my face. I'm not used to actually having one. So it looks like this. 
someone's all video taping each other. Okay. <laughs> with the camera <laughs> scoping you. All right, so in. the podcast is dedicated towards, towards contractors. What I do is I bring in individuals from outside of the industry, and the way I consider it is they've got all of this wisdom, but it's not applied towards what we do. So maybe John Gray or Jordan Harbinger or Mike Michalowicz, I call them up, I get them on the phone and bring them in, and they, they're over here and our industry's over here, but they've already been successful. They already know how to do things that we don't know how to do, and I pluck out all the things that can apply directly towards us, and then I kind of form this, I don't know, I, I meld it so that it relates well towards our audience, towards what we do. There we go. What's the website for that? Landscape Business Pro. And then we have Dirt Monkey University get, uh, finally getting launched. Finally. Tell us about forever. that. Dirt Monkey University is my way of giving back. I've been doing this for, well, I'm 44. I've been doing this since I was 13 years old, so I got 31 years of experience. A lot of you guys are just struggling. You're on your own, but you don't have to be on your own. And that's why I'm forming Dirt Monkey University as a way to give back, as a way to connect with you guys, to give you information, to help you out. All the guys, it's going to be a blast. got to go hunt down the geek. Let's go hunt him down. Let's find him next. All right, ready? Dun, 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 dun. We're going to find him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, there's people crowded all over the uh, x -Mark exposition. I don't know what's going on. Why. What's up, bro? Brian Sabo. What's up, dude? How's it going? Um, um, uh, mow your yard or mow lawns and uh, mow, mow lawns and, uh, and Supreme Lawn. Yeah. Say it again. I said he made his name Geek the Freak. So yeah. therefore, Geek is a part of the name. We're not saying he's a geek, but I'm saying I wanted to call him Geekatron. 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 So, um, yeah, so his name is Geek the Freak. Yeah. Is it, that's not his real name, but, but sometimes I find myself saying, where's the geek? But I'm not at all even thinking in my head that he's a geek or anything like that. It's just awesome, you know. Stinker. So we got the LCM so far. We got the Stan Genetic. I may have to. Uh, huh? I may have to actually buy a tag now. I want to try to come back in. Oh yeah. You got in with the L? You didn't pay. You didn't pay. You got paid 120 bucks. That's you. You just walked right? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Because I know at the auto show in Detroit, dude, they're like checking everybody and scanning everybody, so I just assumed. I, I was waiting to get scanned. <laughs> and then you know where we searched? There's the, there's the expo. Yeah, what, what is the... Outside, we go all what's he way doing so far away from the not. expo? <laughs> <Where are we? laughs> I'm hiding out. He is hiding out. He's in the shade. Hiding out. He's got his minute. buddies next by. Let's let's see who all is here. Let's go down the line. So what's up to everybody real quick? What's up? I'm here at the GIE Expo 2015 and I'm taking a break. <laughs> Why? Because my um, feet are killing me. You'd think I'd be used to all this walking and standing from all the lawn care I do, but I was in one place for too long. I like to keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you, man. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, videos. sir. Thank you. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, Good? Nice What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Say, I'm getting your face on the video. <laughs> I want to go on that fucking... Yeah, I keep looking at those roller coasters. I don't think it's up and running, is it? Yeah, it like, hasn't been running for three years. Really? Okay. There's an entire amusement park with roller coaster rides. Really? Doing what? Valentine Lawn Care. I threw hey, the freak on Periscope. Cool freaks. That one's Periscope, but the other one's Meerkat. You know about them, right? Yeah. See all the wow. Oh, right. Right. Oh, that's super bottom. cool. That's super cool. Versus, you're you're looking. On right now? Is that oh yeah, they're out there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've heard about this. I've heard like we. I've done a little bit of Periscope, but I never find any groups to join or anything like that. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So um. Another. He said he can't play. 
What's going on? There you go. So, those stripes. Those boy. stripes. So yeah, those stripes. Though those stripes are nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'll pass on the Periscope around everybody who's on Periscope. Everybody, so where's B and B? Where's B and B when he comes out here? Wait, so do they see us? Camera in his face. Do they see us? Oh, of course. Yeah. Do we comment? No, it can't. Can we comment can't. back on no, them? Straight up and down. It's gotta stay. It's gotta stay recorded. Ashley, is this your phone? That's his phone. Yeah. That's Keith's phone. Mm -hmm. Boss, dude, like a boss. How do you set Mowing it up? Growing, like there they, he is, they dude. Start following you. Like That's real estate genius. agents. So. Is it legal in your city? Uh, you have to get a license and insurance and everything like that. What's up, guys? B and B Lawn Care, Blake. How's yeah. it going? I like that shirt, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Now keep telling us about the drone. Why I got a camera in your face? Oh yeah, you got a, the drone, uh, Phantom Three. Then just make some beautiful strikes with it and uh, edit it up and put it on YouTube. Are you um, uh, hooking a GoPro up to it? Uh, no, it has an onboard camera. Oh, it does. So yeah. is, would you say the footage is the same, better, or worse than GoPro? Um, DJI, they they have incredible cameras. So yeah. Now, does it have the follow me mode? No. Where it's auto? But it does have auto follow return, right? Auto return. Yeah, yeah. So okay. GPS. So like, let's say you lose, uh, yeah. you lose connection to your controller, and it's gonna come back and hover right where it left off. Okay. You um, control it with the uh, radio control with your phone, on, right? Yeah. So like, uh, so you have the controller and then the phone right there mounted to it, and. Uh, and it all connects, and you get you even get the uh, 1080p footage streaming right from that, so you can see everything that the uh, everything that is recording. And then when you're editing, are you, do you use After Effects? I saw you having the templates with the explosions and the. Uh, no, I use iMovie to edit my actual videos. Really? <laughs> and uh, you go to just get your intros done and yeah. just use those. So. Okay. But yeah, I don't use uh, any of the paid for editing. So we're discussing. We're discussing. If you found ten thousand dollars in cash, would just you keep it? Just sitting there. But if you found Alone. a wallet with a bunch of credit cards in it, would you, you gotta give that back? You gotta give it back. But if you found ten thousand dollars in cash, the problem is you don't with someone's know ID. Of course, you gotta give it back, right? But you gotta yeah, find the right the owner of. Well, with the ID, yeah. But if there was ten thousand dollars just sitting in the grass alone, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Of course. Because of if you give it to someone, they're going to lie and they're just going to take it. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, did you lose this? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it $10,000 in cash by any chance? Yes, I lost it. I'm trying to get Thank you. to the point where I can show you guys some equipment. But do you really care about the equipment? What about that number? Seven. Hey, what did you That's learn from Blake? Seven, seven. There, and he finally found me. Stalker. Yeah. Oh, dude. And then I was like, he's like, I never commented. Don't yeah. say that. <laughs> so, you know, but I, you know, to every single one, and I finally found you. It's like, oh my god. Seriously? But he said that he's not subscribed to my channel. He's subscribed to his. All right. This is definitely a manly man's car. Yes. This is a manly man's car. So is that what the wife of Tron says? Manly man's. Let me turn the air on. I can't believe it's almost November and we're turning the air conditioning on. Yes. That's awesome. Like, Alright, we're gonna sneak up on the freak. You're still hanging out in the parking lot. <laughs> oh. You gonna hang out for a while longer or are you gonna get head to the pizza place? She's like, I'm not even from this country, and I understand this. I just laugh all the time. Where's she from? Puerto Rico. Okay. I met her in sixth cool. grade. 
Nice. And she moved here from Louisiana. She moved nice. from Puerto Rico, Louisiana. I met her in sixth grade. And you guys have been together? Well, she's been together ever since? Whoa! That's awesome. That's awesome. So she came with me. 2015? Yeah, yeah son. We have known him since 15, but we didn't date until we were older. You know? Yeah. Shoot. But that's cool. Oh, I'm glad, though. Right. We made good money young. She was a translator. She made good money, and then I worked in pharmaceutical. 